Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one exclusive content, behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Uh -huh. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Bitch, the cold leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But the TS makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell me R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. boy, oh, I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. <laughs> the premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the f along, because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black mother because you black mother don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender their sexual preferences i what? just want to know where you found this wig at don't you do this to me we're both sitting up here looking like women's with shortcuts so don't you ever <laughs> cut don't this whole off we also have mother Mother, 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 I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not gonna disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're gonna read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all all right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. It's morning, and we slept the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the song I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, 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 Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Now they see, they see. We it. just had to hear the. Now you're here like you've been before, and you know just, just what I need. need. It 
it took some time for me to see. Yeah. Mo, we need to see the comment because we know no, the oh. microphone's working. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that you give good love to me, baby. baby. So good. Take this heart of mine. Oh, he fucking up. Right. You, you, you give know, you good love. I, I know. He done fucked up out now, if, <laughs> now, if we was doing... <laughs> If we were doing, if we were to say we didn't sound good, yes, we did. Now we were doing Mariah. If we were doing Mariah, he'd have been all over there. He'd been quiet as a mouse, you know, because she has no melody. Right? Oh, good on. They didn't play Whitney Houston in your house. No, no. It was more like a. It was more. He said that in Etta James. Don't you ever disrespect Whitney Elizabeth Houston. The purest voice to come out of a vagina. That is, that is true. That is true. Purest. Until it got tainted with cigarettes like Dion <laughs> and all of the other things. <laughs> no, it was, it, it, listen, she could have did the drugs because, you know, Shaka did them and she still can, oh, I, oh. I. Wait a minute, you said Shaka did them. Is that past tense or present? Well, listen, <laughs> she could. <laughs> Craig, this is not the time. Oh, this isn't fact talk yet. Oh, I'm no, sorry. This is not the time. <laughs> Even on fact talk, this is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely be doing that type of stuff live here in Atlanta. Yeah. In Atlanta at our residency. Honey, we have a six month residency going on. Honey, get your tickets right here. Betty, oh, so that's minute. the wrong. Oh, excuse me. That's the wrong code. Yeah, there we go. Get, no, that's the 29th. My why is it still in here? Bad. Why is it still in here? I, I don't know. I don't know. God, you know what? But this is this is the employed. one. This is the one. That... I try to keep black people employed. I do. You should, but you should have let me handle it. Though. No, you, you you couldn't handle it. I... <laughs> that would the other one would have been gone. <laughs> now, why is it blurry? <laughs> I told you that's the same problem we had last time. You got Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, why is it so blurry? Anyway, get your show tickets back. But this is what you have to do immediately. Take your phone right here and go over there on the top and get your show tickets yes. right there. We have our residency here. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Have a safe trip. Good night. Have a safe trip. I won't be at home. Yeah. Get your tickets. Scroll over this. Get your tickets. Yes. Okay. For well, you know, we have the Atlanta shows available on April the twenty fourth. We'll be loud, live, and in color. I'm gonna Mo. Actually, I'm gonna need you to cut. Or oh, actually, no, I'm not Mo. Trent, I'm gonna actually need you to cut me a trailer together from some of the pieces from the um from the show from um Nashville, uh, Nashville so that we can put a little trailer out, and therefore we can do the things that we do to do. What's must what done? must be done so we can do what must be done we need you guys to come on down have a good time listen if you have not had one of the, a good time at one of our shows you just you are truly missing out yes yes you are now mo yes this week i've been very busy and stuff like that and it's just a lot of things that i that i i've been working on my home um, <clears throat> excuse me i've been working on my other home yeah I, i've seen i've seen here Craig. You can watch. You can watch I've that. I've seen I've seen I've seen that. I've yes, seen I've been that. taking care of my other home. Motion detected outside garage. Um, and so uh, a lot of my time has been consumed in that, like decorating and all this stuff, and you know, turning that house. Is my microphone on? What right, y'all? Can you hear me well? I know him so well. Remember that song by Whitney and her mama? I know him so well. I don't know that one. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Sissy was singing. I didn't really like Sissy's voice. There was some times that Sissy sang. In the background of Luther, yes. Ooh. I enjoyed her back there. Oof. So, so the microphone is perfect. Thank you. So I have been getting a lot of people telling me that it was, it was beautiful and all that stuff, but I did put it out in the public so people will have their own opinions about what is this and what is that or whatever. You know, some people, oh, it's tacky, oh, it's this, you know, oh, it's beautiful. Listen, if you girls... <laughs> <laughs> 
only get grandeur when you go to hotel rooms on 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 the Fourth of July, <laughs> when you're visiting your family out of town, honey, for your family reunions, mm -hmm. or you get grandeur when you're going to hotel rooms, honey, when you are on Valentine's Day. If you only if you only get hints of grandeur <laughs> at times, <laughs> like I have some college. <laughs> if you only get hints of grandeur at times, dear Lord. Don't take that out on me because this is like what I like to surround myself with. I love to be surrounded by grandeur. I love color. I love expensive things, not pocketbooks and shoes. If that's what y'all spend y'all money on, pocketbooks and shoes, and you come home to a futon or a, <laughs> or a retractable couch, that's your, we're not having the same type of conversation when I am enjoying being surrounded by things of grandeur. Grandeur consists of black, okay? As an African-American people, I need you to understand that grandeur starts with black. Let's do this. Then it transitions into red and white, golds, mustards. All of these things are of grandeur. Now, if you like grays, <laughs> If you're grays and beiges and stuff like that, that's fine because you have to get your, because I shop here too, you have to get your at-home pictures and your old-time pottery pictures to put on your wall or you have to get your, if you don't thrift, I'm a thrift shopper because I like things that have, that have, that have aged and have value on it that have withstand the test of time. If you're buying this furniture that was built in 24 hours and it tears up and <laughs> Be real, and you have to get this furniture every year from rooms to go because they they put you on a financing plan that if you that, that, that you don't there'll be no interest on your furniture for twelve months because they know that after twelve months you'll be back down there buying another furniture because you went down there to the rooms to go, girl. So if you if these are things that you are not used to, hush. It's it's okay for you to see something outside of you know the things. <laughs> Somebody said plywood. It's just what it is, Craig. You know, you know. And when I throw the when I throw the things back at y'all, don't get angry with me and tell me to humble myself. <laughs> <laughs> because they love to tell me humble yourself. God can give it to you, took it away. But this is what you're y'all have really been for years. For those who have been using that statement. Y'all have been waiting for God to take it away from me for years, and he's only been multiplying it for me. <laughs> Somebody said I'm a peaceful renaissance. Why? So, I mean, and, it's, and I'm not shading anybody, because I was a girl at one point in my life when I was in the shoes that you're walking in now. Uh-uh. I was uh -uh. a girl of, you know, renaissance. I was a girl of, of, of trying to pay my furniture off. I was a girl of those things. I'm not that girl no more. And so I just post the things of, of what I like. But when y'all come for me, y'all turn me into reminding myself of, of what I used to be. And maybe when I used to be that way, I felt that way about people who surrounded themselves in grandeur. Mm -hmm. And so I acted out. So some of you are acting out. Errands. <laughs> Errands. <laughs> some of you are acting out. And it's okay. But when I return the acting out, I need you to sit in that and allow me to just... Go ahead on, like you were picking me apart, to get your pickings. Now, this is a great segue, is it not? Uh, yeah. Speaking of picking apart and, you know, I do have on my green dress. Mm. So it, it might be that type of day. Recently, Deficit K sat down with Pierre on his show. And of all the things they could have talked about and all the people and places and stuff that they could have talked about, he decided... Well, they decided to talk, have this conversation. Put it out there, come okay. on, so that we know. They decided to have this conversation about why I am not, I don't like, uh, why we have pressure with each other, this and the other. And because she's a liar, and the liar that she is, she sat on that sofa with those freshly bought titties. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see those freshly bought titties? With their, with, do, is it not licking, making her show? Aren't our shoulders kind of looking the same? You see, she has that huge upper body. 
Like she has on a, a waist shaper and it just sucked her up. And she had this huge upper body with this small head with those Beijing waves tatted on the top of her skull. And so she sat there on that sofa and with this, what possessed her to put this sweater dress on, <laughs> swollen like this? For the love of God, ever since I've known Deficit K, I've known her to be a slim woman. Now she's over here. And one thing I've learned about people that feel some type of way about you, uh -huh. as much as they read you, they admire you. So she's been over there swelling herself up to somewhat similarize herself like the TS. Over there swollen <laughs> in that turtleneck dress <laughs> with those Beijing ocean waves sitting over here on top of her head with those dentine white ice chip teeth in her mouth. Dear Lord. And when I look at this person, I look at this person and I look at this person from the perspective of a person that has sat around just like when they love to call on Kaya because they love to call Kaya's name when they having something about me. What are we doing, Mo? Is the mic moving around? No, no, no. I'm just checking something real quick. Okay. When... When we sit here and we look at this person, they're just like Kaya used to read everybody walking and then went out there and instead of fixing her mouth, she got her ass pumped. And so instead of paying Cardi B, she has went out, bought teeth, titties, an ass. And these are the same people that sit around and talk about people the way they look and, and talk about the, the, the girls. No, don't move it. No, we're talking about this person. <laughs> talking about the girls, the way they look and all this stuff. And then they go right out there in the world and they start to completely imitate them, right? Uh -huh. Now, I'd like to let this sit here for a moment because I'm going to play excerpts from it because we're, there are things that we're going to dissect here at the top of the show. Okay. Because it's important that we dissect this stuff at the top of the show. Hold on, please. All righty. Okay. Um, I don't know if it'll play on here. Mo, could you do me a... Oh, here it is. Let's see if it's going to roll. Uh, here. Here's what, here's what was said. T.S. Madison. Well, I was. She's been trying to say I was trying to pull it. Like, I'm like, bitch, I sat in your house. That nasty ass house. Uh, but I ain't never say nothing. She had the mood was so nasty. Okay, maybe I remember that house before. Can we pause? Yeah. I'd like to pause and go through this. Okay. I really need to watch this on YouTube. Let me go on YouTube because I'd like to pause. Pull this picture down. Okay. I'd actually like to pause and go through this because this is probably going to be one of the many times that I, I pull her card up. Wait, you said one of the many times? Yes, because I'm I, we're going to drag each other until there's no more time left on her. <laughs> so let me go on YouTube. I hope y'all got time because I do. <laughs> and I wanted to come to y'all in a place of, because I'm not angry about it. I just really sit and watch how these people, uh, you know, sit here and they they make these stories, stories up. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So that? here we go. No, no, <laughs> hold on. Oh, cut out. So keep on. Have a good time. Talk to him all the shit you want. Okay? Hold on. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm there. I saw it. I got a fit. Oh, when I was sitting here, we go. Did not. And he's a drug dealer, and I'm not a drug here we dealer. Go. To my viewers to cover her. So now I'm sure. transphobic. But what yeah, was I yeah. transphobic? When I was sitting in a house doing your right. shows, help. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Let's go here. Before that, you know, I never go but to if I go to a transgender house, I'll say I'm transgender. Yeah, so because it. Pierre is my friend, you know, he's all and Pierre and most you Mo is a straight man. You know, these 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 insecure women, because this is definitely insecure women. You can tell by how she went out and talked about all those women and then started adding all these things. Mm -hmm. Those are insecurities, right? So let's go. This insecure woman sat here with this man and she 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 spoke on uh, uh, me saying that she was transphobic. The internet is still here, is it? Is it not? Yes. Are we not on the internet right now? Yes, we are. I pay somebody out there right now one hundred dollars per video. I'll say this again. I'll pay someone right now one hundred dollars per video that they find of me saying or telling y'all that Tasha K was transphobic. Hello. 
I'll pay someone out there right now $100 per video for hearing me come out of my mouth and say that Tasha K was transphobic because I've never said that Tasha K was transphobic. I said Tasha K is a puss ass hoe. I said she's a foot dragging dirty bitch. I say she has a faggot ass motherfucking husband. I say she has retarded kids. <laughs> I say, bitch, that her motherfucking, uh, that, that she a puss ass hoe again. She's a fuck nigga. These are the things that I've said about her that you can go back and you can nap in that. These are all the things that I've said about this person. So when you really go forth and you start dissecting things like we're going to do for this moment, we're going to sit on her for a moment because okay. these girls like to take my name and make coins off of them. I'm about to, re I'm about to return the, the favor. So when we sat there and we, we, we listened to this and I, and I looked at it from the space of it, I'm like, so let's talk about what I've said about you. I've called you. I've not called you. I've never said that you were transphobic. Not once have I sat my fat ass in this chair and said that, that this person was transphobic. You said not the babies. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't give a fuck about her children. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't give a fuck about her husband. I don't care anything about them. And if y'all if y'all feel some type of way, the door is there because I'm 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 not I'm gonna go in the way that I know how. And for this bitch to sit up here and say that there's there's I don't have any wordplay for her, Miss Thing. You don't rap, girl. You were you. The only thing that you're wrapped you're wrapped up in a deficit and bills and lawsuits. That's what you're wrapped up in, girl. And this is where your focus should be. The transsexual didn't do anything to you. When when the stories came out about this individual, Maddie Mob, as long as y'all been with me, y'all been with me a long time. Y'all know we never even covered that nigga. We never covered her. Y'all would send me all types of things to my inbox and all this stuff about her. We never talked about Tasha K. We never, we never in one moment in our breath spoke about this nigga. We never did that. Did we not, Mo? You were there. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's I'm true. in a calm space talking about this because it's that's like true. we, we got to dissect the thing for what it is. I want y'all to, to call a thing a thing, right? And, and the thing is, she can't take me. That's what, it, and that's what it's <clears throat> always been. But she's tried to mask it under, I'm your friend. And and it is in we're just calling a thing a thing, right? So you sit there on on people's platform and you say, I said this, and the reason why we are where we are is because I called you transphobic. I've that's those are not words that were ever stood uttered from my mouth. Nappy neck, dirty, foot dragging. Puss ass motherfucking hoe, fuck nigga, bitch ass hoe, faggot heaven, husband heaven ass bitch. These are things that I've said about you because we can go find those videos. But if you find the video of me saying that she was transphobic, I'll give you $100 per video. $100 per video that you find. Find it. Okay? Um, Imagine sitting on Pierre's sofa thinking that you're serving me like a waitress because that's what you're going to end up being by the time all of this is over. <laughs> thinking that you're serving me like a waitress and he calls you Kenneth. <laughs> he calls you Kenneth and tells you to pull your turtleneck down because he needs to check your Adam's apple. Oh, wow. Imagine that. Um, just sit and imagine that you go on a man's podcast, bitch, to, to drag a tranny, a tranny, and he drags you for being a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to really wear her out because the, the joke wore her set, wore itself. The joke wore itself. And then here's it <laughs> to, to, to ice the cake. She, all, every time she's, she's talked about me. She loves to bring people like she had Messy C over there. Oh, Ma Madison's house was nasty. Messy C, that's it. That's, that's not my experience. That was not my experience at Madison's house. Madison's house wasn't nasty when I went over there. Other people she done sat down with, oh, did her, did her house was nasty. And that wasn't her experience either. Now, she talks about how she couldn't 
put her baby down. No, bitch, you couldn't put your baby down because you have been drinking so much in your life and you have <laughs> cirrhosis of the motherfucking liver, bitch, that you birthed a baby whose eyes do all like this. And the reason why you couldn't put your baby down is because your baby wouldn't know where to walk around in a motherfucking circle, bitch, or he'd have been running into the wall with that shitty ass pamper that he had on. That my mama was clapping at him. Sit, hey, sit. Imagine sitting over there telling me or telling Pierre that I had to move because my house was so filthy. No, sweetie, I moved because I'm rich and I bought a new home and I still own this home. I moved. Let us talk about why you moved. Can we talk about why you moved? You moved because you're a liar. You're a pathological liar and you wrap your business and your whole uh, funding into lies and so therefore you had to move and you had to move into an apartment complex where you're now paying rent now somebody's over there renting out that house but the moment that it comes for sale because it will i'm gonna buy it and knock the bitch down <laughs> but my thing is when i really sit and look at you i look at you from a, a miserable person that spoke from your mouth and said I'm a real woman talking about a tranny now because I, I, I stand on me being a transsexual. I'm a real woman. But what has your real woman pussy done for you? You 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 have funny looking kids. You've birthed funny looking children. You have a soft ass motherfucking husband, bitch, that uh, obviously the reason why Pierre sees you as Kenneth, not just because you you probably was trying to cover up your Adam's apple, nigga. It's because what real nigga going to fuck with you? Since you want to talk about me not having no nigga, what real nigga going to fuck with you? You had to go out there and get you an African. Because what real nigga going to fuck with you having him in debt? A real nigga. Wait, what does that mean? Then? No, she had, because you know y'all are very passive when it comes to American women, honey. He, pro he probably married that bitch for his green card. <laughs> but <laughs> what real nigga is going to motherfucking marry you? Because clearly in this whole relationship, nigga, we can tell that you wear the pants in it. We can tell whose dick is the biggest in that house. And Tasha K, it's yours. Your dick is bigger than, your, than Shaq's. Because this man has allowed you to walk all over him. He's allowed you to get him in debt. He's allowed you to motherfucking have his bank records and all of his financial information plastered all over the internet. We can tell that he is he is beta and you are alpha in that house. But in this house, sir, bitch, you have no power in motherfucking here. There is nothing that you have on your body, your pussy, your your teeth, your titties, your looks. There's nothing that's on you that I am. I am. I'm not jealous of your career. I don't care anything about you. There's nothing that your pussy has gotten you, bitch, that my titties at the top and dick at the bottom has has gotten that has surpassed you. So clearly we know what the problem is. The problem is I'm a woman and I can't take this transsexual. This transsexual who stands in she's fat, who stands in that she's loud, who stands in that she's black. Who stands in, bitch, that she is has titties at the top, dick at the bottom? Who stands in, bitch, that you can call her trainee and all that other type of stuff, but she's going to capitalize off of it? That's what the real issue is, because you put yourself in Jess's shoes because Jess was having an issue with the trans community, and, and you wanted to set foot over there for clickbait, because quiet as it's kept, you don't like women, you don't like black women. You're just pandering to them right now because it's gonna it's trying to help you pay your bills. And so you use the fallback on a tranny, you know, cause who who a lot of the women like yourself has issues with, and you're trying to help that go to your app to pay your bills. We've clocked you a long time ago. Not only have we clocked you for what you are, but also we've clocked you for who you are. And who you are is a scumbag. Who you are is a worthless low down, again, foot dragging, nappy neck, dirty, cirrhosis of the liver with a drunk pussy giving birth to motherfucking ill looking ass fucking kids, bitch, woman. 
that I, the TS, have no jealous streak in my heart towards at all because you you are you have nothing, you are nothing, and your pussy is absolutely nothing, bitch, and it is worthless to you. So what the fuck would I be jealous of you for having one? And the reason why you get those women to to back you up is because you represent them because they are the same. See, you haven't surpassed me. Don't think because you have a, a husband out loud that you've surpassed me. Or don't think that because you have children that you've surpassed me. Or don't even think that you sitting on that motherfucking dishwater, dirty ass pussy that you got has surpassed me. Because, sweetheart, you have not. Because you sat on a sofa thinking that you were going to serve me to a man that is my friend. And he turned around and showed you exactly what transphobia looks like. By the time you left that interview, your new name was Kenneth. <laughs> and from this day forth, ma'am, sir, <laughs> you will be deficit Kenneth K. Wait, you when said, excuse we, me, what? Ma'am, sir, <laughs> you will be deficit Kenneth K when we address you. Oh my God. <laughs> Ma'am, sir, okay. <laughs> you can't suck this dick. You barely can suck the dick your husband got, bitch. And I told you, I'm just waiting on them to lock you up so your children can really be raised by the man that he needs to be with. Because obviously, bitch, the man that you are portraying to be up under that skirt, bitch, we can tell whose dick is the biggest in that house. Because there's no way a real alpha man would have you having him in all of those situations. So we know what you are. Come on out. We'd love you the same. Anyway, I'm done until you tap on my door again because you always love to tap on my door. I don't even be thinking about you, nigga, at all. But you love to tap on my door because it does something for you. It makes your pussy wet or it could make your dick hard. Who knows? <laughs> we don't know. But again, I will pay $100 for each video that y'all find of me saying that Tasha K was transphobic, that's your task for the motherfucking week. Find it. Anyway, let's go to commercial break. Let's get ready for some fag talk. <laughs> Cue it up, Mo. I got you. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some fact talk. <laughs> you met me as me. Yes. Yes. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes. Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey, you know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular, hot-ass gossiper. Oh, honey, I was born a bag. And so are you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. I say it again. I am rich. Your what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular, hot ass, gospel. Hey, that's right. Yes. Yes. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Not the other one. But that counts. Girl, what is this, Plum Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. Thank you. You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes! Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This is 99J. This is 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Girl, what is this? Plum Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. 
That was a nice soft gathering. I mean, why why should I get loud at a bitch that that can't take me? Mm. The issue is the bit. Uh, this is a woman born under the under under the sign of whatever. What is Pisces under? That's under March. Born under whatever time. Of February. Beginning but of March. born under this sign that's uh, born under Aphrodite. Oh, that's me. Well, whatever she's born under. As a woman, why? I would feel some type of way that if I was a real woman out in the streets, right? Mm-hmm. Feeling some type of way about a fag. It couldn't, it couldn't, you couldn't pay me to do that. Well, Especially when this <clears throat> fag feels no type of way about you. Look around, I look around at my life. Mm-hmm. When I look <laughs> back over my life. Come on, Craig, let's be real. Mm-hmm. When I look over my life, I'm not hurting for anything. I'm not struggling for nothing. And I do it all in the name of me being the transsexual Madison. Transsexual Madison. Mm-hmm. Not me crying about I want to, oh, God, I just was born in the wrong body. I need to have a pussy. God, I really wish I could marry a man where I can have children. None of this. There's none of that going on. And so you have to understand when people come from those places, from the shadows, and they emerge with that, like, oh, I'm a real one. Hmm. And... You don't have to tell me that. I know what you, well, obviously, we don't, we really, the man sat across from you and, was, and, and you gathered his spirit. <clears throat> Again, just like just, you possess lots of masculine energy. <sighs> That's why you got the man you got. Over there pushing around that man like that. There is no way a real nigga on God's earth gonna be out there letting a woman Take him all up and through there like that. Well, <clears throat> to be fair, I'm listening. I mean, that's all I wanted to oh, say. Oh, because I was going to be like. Girl, we got so much to catch up on from last week. We still got stories that we didn't get to from the week before. Oh. And then we really got to no, tiptoe girl, we, down we, here we, to this we really don't have, We don't have a lot of time with that today because we have, we don't. We have an engagement that we need to. Yes, we do. Um, we, we have an engagement that we need to. Girl, that's why I'm dressed in all silk. Like, <laughs> girl, that's why I got all my jewelry and my all my silk. Oh, I'm going to go get ready because this is what you're wearing. Hey, this is what I'm oh, wearing. Oh, girl, I'm wearing something cute too then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let this fag fag me up. You don't want to be out fag. I don't want to be out fag. <laughs> Girl, are we gonna start with this Billy Porter? Where we starting? Girl, listen, it's 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 fact talk. Where we starting at, Craig? Girl, let's go ahead and jump no, into this. No, 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 no. Where you want to start? Billy Porter is because I know you want to meet and potatoes her. I surely do. Um, let's start with Santana because that was kind of like on the list of earlier. Now I don't know anything about this. Well, you'll find out. You can you can quickly interject. Let's okay. go. Falsy Santana. Yeah. Don't look it up because you're gonna say something funny. Don't look it up. That's my dog. Don't look it up. Saucy Santana. So, the, the Saucy Santana. Oh, <laughs> That's your dog. <laughs> Hell no. Come on, man. No. Not this. This. Yes, that. <laughs> the rapper. That ain't no rapper. That ain't no rapper. Stop <laughs> No, Nick, come on, dog. That was your roommate? <laughs> no, I have. That was your <laughs> Is that why you got the Tic Tacs now? That was your room? Oh, come on, dog. Nigga, nigga, Becky oh. turn the bitch up. <laughs> oh, come on. This the one. Oh, my God. Come with this. 
This was your. This was your. <laughs> so the the saucy Santana. Oh hell! <laughs> That's your dog. <laughs> I was like, cut the cameras off. Cut the cameras off. <laughs> Hey, so so who else was on it? Uh, Tamar Brasson and Claudia Jordan. Uh, Tamar was there? Yeah, Tamar was there. <laughs> yeah, Come on, Tamar. dog. Come on. I mean, they, listen, listen, listen. There was three, there was three, three and a half. There was three and a half out there. <laughs> it was. It was three it and was, a half. It was. I, 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 you Wait, know. Hold, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I have my own room, though. I have my own Nick, room. Hey, la ladies, no, no, <laughs> Nick. I'm sorry, Nick, because I seen it through the camera. Nick, <laughs> you, you was hype for this is you. <laughs> no, no, this is you, dog. Wait, That's you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's your. Okay. Uh, I am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he cool as shit. I ain't gonna lie, he cool as shit. He funny. You would have had a good time. No, no, don't don't throw that out there. <laughs> nah, don't throw that. Out there. Nah, don't throw that out. There. Nah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Behind the scenes. <laughs> hey, would have been. Hey, would have been like Meek Mills. <laughs> right. I need to go to Guyana. Uh huh. Hey, I need to. Hey, they call it. They calling him gay. He like, yeah, police report. <sighs> See, this is the kind of men that the women think that is that are real niggas. Okay. Now let's 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 dissect this before we listen to uh, uh -huh. Santana's response. This is the type of men that a bitch like that maggot hoe we was just talking about, Kenneth K. Mm -hmm. This the type of man that they think that's a real nigga, like because if if they are if they are anti fag or mm -hmm. anti gay or like they, they, they can't they, possibly they be. can't po yeah because and that and this is the mask that those types of men have been wearing. What, what is it, girl? This is the mask. That's right. That those types of men have been playing have been wearing in that ball for a long time. Because listen, drag queens, those kind of men dress in drag too now. Come it's on. not just your typical drag Explain. queen. You know what I'm saying? Because Don't let the comments pile up, some, some of these men are dressing in drag too, in disguise. They're in disguise as straight men. But to your point, those are the very ones that will be in Santana's inbox. Usually, that's how it usually works. Now, and here's the thing. This, we'll click where it says new comments. Because I need to, we need to, the date should have been in there earlier. Now, here's my thing with this, right? My thing with this is... When you really dissect this, because we're doing a dissecting today, because okay. it's the lies. This name of the show is The Lies You Tell. Mm. So we sit here, right? And we looked at this and we saw these men over there. One man was like, This is my friend. But then he was, you can also see the influence yeah. that started to happen to him mm -hmm. when that other man was constantly clowning him. You know what I'm saying? The influence of. Right. You, you, that's your right. friend. Hold on, man. Nah, nah. And he, they're cackling. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take it back to Pierre earlier. That other nigga sat on the sofa across from, 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 from him mm -hmm. and tried to read him for being my friend. And he pulled it right, pulled the wool right over that hole and told that bitch, pull that thing now so we can see your Adam's apple. I'm your friend too, nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. And you have to really, you got to look at, and you women, let me, let me talk directly to the women. You women are constantly fooled by this type of rhetoric. You're constantly fooled by this type of conversation. You're constant. You're you are in a constant, and you in, and you enjoy this because it makes you feel some type of way secure in your in in the type of man that you mm -hmm. like. I'm this. I'm secure with this man. The type of man that they're portraying to be. And because see, what happens is a lot of times women think that the telltale sign of a gay man is he got to be he he got to be he got to be given all of this, and he got to talk with that gay list. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know he got it. Mm -mm. That's not always. They come just like those ones you see in the video right there. Right, and so they don't see the maturity 
like Pierre sit over there and said, T.S. Madison is my friend. Mm -hmm. I don't went and ate at T.S. Madison house numerous times. I don't mm -hmm. been over T.S. Madison house. I don't chilled over T.S. Madison house. I'm That's not. the kind of man you ain't got to worry you about. You don't have to worry about that. Because he's clear about who he is. Clear. And he's, and he's, he's clear about who skin. he is. He's clear about his intentions when yeah. he come around there. We, fr we friends. Yeah. You feel me? They don't switch up. Right. They don't change. Those men that were in that video, or those guys that were in that video, you bitch. they're the ones that won't even look a fag in the eye. Because they're worried about looking, or worried about seeing the reflection of themselves. And they're scared that the fag is going to be able to see themselves in them. Hi, y'all about Shata! Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Physically now, or metaphorically? Both. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> B-O-F-L. Now, here we go. Let's go. Let's do this right here. Hold on. Here we go. Let's do this. Every man ain't gay. That's right. And there are men that are that are that that hate gays for no apparent reason at all. Mm -hmm. But when you dig to the internal root of it, why? Yeah. Especially somebody that hasn't done anything to you. Right. Just like we got to the internal root of what Tasha K real pressure with me is, she wanna surpass me. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about her million followers that she got. She's infamous for being trash. My whole life was has been a blueprint for turning your life around. Her whole life is the blueprint of crash and burn. Whole life. So, I don't think that every man is, is, is homosexual or trans or trans or trans. I don't think that. I do not think that. And I think that sometimes when those men are acting out in that way, there's something wrong. They're hiding something or whatever. Mm -hmm. And here's what God does. You ready? What do you do? God gives God gives them fags. They they, they they have fag children. Right. Uh huh. He blessed my dad. <laughs> he blessed your dad. Uh, uh huh. God gives them fags. God gives you homo. This is why I don't feel no type of way about y'all, y'all, y'all homophobic and, and transphobic men or women because God is gonna bless you with a fag. Everything you've done to me, God is gonna bless you with a fag. Already done to you because, and I say this with 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 my whole heart. One of your children, one of your children's children, somebody very close to you that you love dearly. Because what you need to learn from the lesson of a fag, and we're talking about FAG, and FAG can consist of being a lesbian, <laughs> that's a woman, uh -huh. you're going to bless you with that. Because in, in the whole retrospect of everything, God is, in his intention of giving you a fag, he's going to do that to teach you Come on, somebody. how to love. Right. There's a lesson in it for that you. That is his lesson to you. Because mm -hmm. I don't think you ever really learn compassion until you're in a position of needing compassion. You know what I mean? Like until you've walked in someone, somebody else's shoes. But I want to circle back to something that you said too. One of the things, I had an epiphany one day. I think that some instances, not all, where you have men that are really homophobic and they just hate gay guys for no reason and, you know, whatever. I've realized that in some instances, those men were molested as children by the same sex. And then they grew up and they have a disdain for all gay people because they, they, they hold the entire community responsible because of what one individual did to them. Right. Correct. And so we look at these types of, like, I, and, and we look at the, the disgusting commentary under the video on those blogs, which, which I'm going to address those blogs after this. Oh, yeah, we coming. We look at the disgusting commentary on these blogs and all this stuff from all of these people who was like, you know, and well, let's look, let's let's hear uh, Santana's re mm -hmm. response to that. Okay. So, Gilby, we're gonna make this real quick for you since motherfuckers act like they don't know what the fuck going on. I don't know what the fuck was funny when you talking to motherfucking Nick. You laughing? Oh, ha ha ha! He a homeboy. He a homeboy. He not a rapper, bitch. I am a motherfucking rapper. That's how I make most of my motherfucking money, bitch. You better check in with your niece, your nephew, your grandma, your mama, bitch. Your daughters. I don't know what the fuck you got. I don't know who the fuck you is, bitch. Tap the fuck in, bitch. You can find a whole lot about Saucy Santana, bitch. Second of motherfucking all, I know you about to go jack your motherfucking dick to that twerk video because you put it up too many motherfucking times on the motherfucking camera for you to be so hee hee motherfucking ha ha bitch you keep washing this ass and I know it's like motherfucking water you'll enjoy that later and motherfucking Nick 
Stop motherfucking playing with me, bitch. All that motherfucking giggling, get in the motherfucking field. About me. In so many words, in the, in the sum it up in Santana's Florida Swain, bitch, you a punk. And fuck nigga, if you was my friend, mm -hmm. I, I'm summing it up. Mm -hmm. And fuck nigga, if you was my motherfucking friend, like you claim you's my friend, what the fuck is you kidding with that nigga? Check that nigga. Right. Like Pierre, check that nigga sitting across from here with that turtleneck on <laughs> and those dentine ice chiclet teeth in her mouth. <laughs> what, what guy? Those dentine, you know how those little dentine, I, have you not seen that nigga? I'm, I'm going to be on this bitch <laughs> periodically through. You seen that whole transformation? I, I don't this bitch went ahead and became every bitch that she done talked about. <laughs> well, it's so weird. Well, that's usually what happens. Like that, when, that is when, when people what talk about they they talk about the things that they they really want. This right. bitch done went ahead and turned it to every bitch mm -hmm. she done talked about. Mm -hmm. That bitch titties one never big. Like put a put the picture of that nigga up there again. Well, we can look at that swole up ass bitch. <laughs> that bitch titties one big like that before. Craig, did you see that? Mm. Look at that bitch shoulders and back and shit. That bitch is a big back. Mm. Look at them look, look at them fake ass teeth in that mouth. Mm. Can she close her mouth? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Always been funny looking, funny built, funny shaped. But just look. Look how the look how the motherfucking see I'm fat so all this stuff happened to me. Mm. Well, look how the stomach gathering down there with a string at when you sitting on the sofa. Is that a waist shaped trainer on? And why would your mouth be sitting over there, that five of mouth? Huh? Kaya kind of got that same kind of mouth like five of the mouth. Them small ears and those bitch. Why don't you have on some big earrings to help that look out? My God. Today. Today. <sighs> they said she spent the Cardi B's buddy. Yeah, but it's okay. Because when the day of reckoning is going, listen, everybody has their day of reckoning. Her day of reckoning is coming from all the, all the energy that she put in the atmosphere. It's her day of reckoning is coming. She may be living in it and, and, and may be trying to show y'all that she's so happy and, and like, oh, God, I'm so happy. And I, I, Girl, you, there is no way that you happy that all your motherfucking goddamn, your bank accounts is plastered all over the internet. Oof. Your children's first, last, and middle name is plastered all over the internet. Your first, last, Transrena. Come on, Keisha. I can't even imagine the kind of stress. Your, your, your children's names, your name, your husband's name. There is no way. Hmm. There is no way. That you are gonna sit here and tell me that you are you are live you are blissfully happy. Imagine your name being trans Rena <laughs> and a man is sitting across from you telling you you're giving Kenneth. You're giving Kenneth. You're giving it. Let me just in case they didn't hear it. <laughs> Cause I didn't do it. Just in case they didn't hear. You're giving Kenneth. <laughs> oh, no, she out. got a basement. Oh wow. <laughs> Where she films all her movies and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I was there. I saw it. I saw it. We talk. We talk about it. Kenneth. Oh my god. Oh, did the machine die? Did it? Probably. I think it did. Oh, that, is it not plugged up? Oh, oh. No. But when you just sit there, that man peel her cap back. There is no way that I'm gonna get on somebody's couch trying to read my somebody else and a man did the bitch I read over to who I went to read on peels my cap back like that. You have to be embarrassed. There's so many embarrassing moments for that nigga. I just be, I really be feeling sorry for that hoe. Cause it be a, so many. I, I'm like, bitch, I'm sitting in your house. That nasty ass house. I ain't never say that. She had the moves on nasty. I, okay, maybe, uh, maybe, damn, maybe I went to that house before. Oh shit. He said he ain't damn. never been in that house she before. Coming out. Oh, no, she out. got a basement. I do. Where she films all her movies and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I was there. I, I saw it. I saw it. We talk, we talk about it. 
I don't give a fuck. I've been, you know what? My nigga Leroy, he a drug dealer. I went to his house, and I don't sell drugs. You ain't a problem with that. You smoke them? No, I don't. Yeah, you don't smoke weed? I don't smoke or drink. You ain't never smoke weed? No. Have I, have I puffed on a joint in my life? Yes, but no, I'm not. Did you I'm puff smoking. on a joint with Leroy? <laughs> <laughs> this girl here. <laughs> no, 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 I did not. And he's a drug dealer, and I'm not a drug dealer. <laughs> so why don't you kill me being a drug dealer if I go in a drug dealer's house? <laughs> what you doing up in there? They kicked that bitch in. Huh? Well, they kicked that bitch in. Well, they go, they, hey! But before that, they didn't do it. Go to a transgender house. All of a sudden, I'm transgender now. No, I didn't say that. She you tried know. to say that I was transphobic because she has covered me a lot on her show. Okay. I barely cover her. So okay. when the conversation is about her, I have a duty to my viewers to cover her. So now I'm sure. transphobic. Again, I have never said this woman was transphobic. Again, I have never said that this woman was transphobic. This, this is the part that I don't like about lies, but the lies that be told on me. Never. <clears throat> the root problem was, drunk ass bitch, you jumped in something that had nothing to do with you. And you already had pressure in your heart towards me because you have been. I remember the bitch called me. Congratulations on you being on on Universal Pictures. Congratulations on you being on on Drag Race. Congratulations on you being a. Cause listen, ain't nothing we congratulating that nigga about. Congratulations on you being on on this thing with Beyonce. This was way before. This was Brown to Beyonce. Beyonce. This bitch, bitch hit me. Hey Madison, can you help me get my live show stuff started? Sure, here's Craig. Let me hit, let me let you let me link you up with Craig. <laughs> That's the shit I don't be liking. <laughs> She's calling me doing all that congratulations shit because in her heart that was, she had to get that because regardless of how you try to take away, pull that, move that coming out of the way. Oh, that's like, regardless of how you try to move or take away any accomplishment that I ever had, if they, if, if, if that's, if those things are not on your resume, bitch, we not the same. That don't mean I'm better, but th that's not on your resume. Universal Pictures, whether you hold said it's flopped or not, it's not on your resume. These things are not on your resume. It's none of these things is on your resume. Beyonce, it's not on you girl's resume. A residual from that is not on y'all girl's resume. We're not the same. I don't give a fuck if you got a million, two million dollars. We're not the same. And so with all of that, of us not being the same, you throw in your pussy. How you a, I'm a real one. You're a jealous one. Yes, you can't be a woman and jealous of another motherfucker. And I'm jealous of a training. You can be. You can be pressed about one. Because obviously you are. You're pressed about one. Yes. And when you gather those girls up, like the supermarket sweep did in the in the early 80s, when you gather those girls up that are like-minded like you, our, none of y'all resumes are the same with mine. None of them. You are infamous for being a liar. You're infamous for being indebted to a person because you lied on them. Infamous. Then you bring up about my about the basement about bitch. This basement has been re 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 renovated, reconstructed. Bitch, when I was doing pornos, I was doing pornos out of an off of, off of out of a studio. Bitch, I've always been a businesswoman. I was doing pornos out of a studio, bitch that I that I rented out of a studio. And when you talk about me and porn, bitch, there is no one more more infamous as far as me being a businesswoman with it. So y'all not y'all not reading me when you bring up the basement and porn and all. You're not reading me. You should actually again be taking notes from me 
on how to reinvent. Girl, you had to leave your home in, Craig, you had to leave your home in Georgia because you could not keep your mouth off of another bitch's pussy. You had your whole mouth on another bitch pussy and you had to leave Georgia to go and brag that you're spending $8,000 in an apartment, girl, where now your kids has to go out there and can't hula hoop because they eyes doing like motherfucking this bitch and you got them out there around other kids, bitch, and y'all swimming in a public pool? Are you kidding me? You talking about a pool, bitch, that I got in one of my homes, girl? That can, you can stick a pin in it and it'll pop and your kids have to go and get in a public pool because you could not stop lying? No, we're not the same. Bitch, my name whole way everywhere it goes, bitch. Every single where it goes. Fake, phony ass, bitch ass hoe. Come on, let's go. Oh, this vodka good. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Girl, I thought I was still in the morning show. You are. <laughs> Girl, I thought we were about to have fag talk. We are. We're talking about a fag right now with a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> a petty, a petty, whole ass gossiper. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I guess we might end up staying on pettiness then. What happened with petty? Come on. A disappointing video, but nonetheless, here goes. So earlier this week, I was told by my management company that um, the Netflix scripted series called The Upshaws were interested in casting me for a part. Uh, in Upshaws, it's Mike Epps and Wanda Sykes. Um, directing this particular episode is Kim Fields. Um, I was excited to do it. It's a comedy. I love comedy. I used to have a comedy show out on the road. Some of you guys know. So comedy is something I love to do and, and was really happy to do it. Uh, as the talks went on, we agreed upon whatever we agreed upon. Um, I was fly out to I was to fly out to LA on Tuesday. Uh, they told me that Portia William Gubadia was also playing in this particular series. She would be side by side with me. Excited. I haven't seen Portia. Uh, we always have a good laugh when we see each other. So I was just like, okay, so me and Portia are gonna kill this part. I get to um, uh, LA on Tuesday. They tell me to go straight to, you know, to the studios. I need to go into wardrobe. Uh, once I got into wardrobe, um, I chosen to wear like this silver color. Uh, they showed me a picture of Portia. They said the Portia's wearing something similar in color and uh, maybe I would choose something else because we were gonna be, you know, side by side doing this scene, no problem. Um, I gave them a whole different look. Um, they told me we were gonna be having rehearsal. Um, at rehearsal, I didn't see Portia. There was a stand-in. Uh, we broke for lunch. We came back. We were going to do a whole run-through. I still didn't see Portia. Uh, I'm just waiting to see Portia, right? I'm excited to see Portia. I'm like, well, I want to, you know, wait that Portia on set. So me and her can chop it up. So Portia never came. Uh, we wrapped for the evening. I went back to my hotel. When I got to my hotel, production called me and asked me if I had any issues with any housewives because they were going to be casting, recasting the other position. And I was like, oh my God, no, like what? And um, they were going to recast the position that Portia was playing. I was like, what? Why? And they said, do you have any issues with Kim Zosiak, Cynthia Bailey, Marlo Hampton? And I was like, no. Like, I just saw Kim recently and we talked. Um, I saw, I, I talked to Cynthia Bailey often. I talked to Marlo Hampton often. Um, no. Like, they ultimately cast Cynthia Bailey and she was flown out to L.A. on Wednesday. We did the uh, part together. Um, I was later told that Portia did not show up to work and had said that she did not want to work with me, that we had had uh, issues from the past. 
and she did not want to work with me. Let me take that in for a second. Listen, I am more than disappointed. Portia and I have double dated a few times, okay? Um, okay. She did all of that bloviating just to say that Portia didn't want to work with her. There's your word, bloviating. She did all of that. I she did all of that song and dance just to say that. And go, where she get this fancy talk from? Tuesday. She on. starts speaking on fancy Craig, like that. Craig, hold on, Keisha. Hold I'm on. Listening. Let's do this. Let's do this. Girl, that was three and a half minutes of nothing. Let's do this, okay? This is what we're going to do. i slit my wrist. <laughs> we're going to go ahead on and we're going to lift her up. And then we're going to tear it down. Please. And then lift her down. Okay, well, up. you lift her up because I've already started tearing her down. Ah, Nene looks amazing. She does. Now, bitch. Who knows she has? I don't know who knows cheeks or eyes she got, but bitch, <laughs> let me tell you, whoever it is, that bitch look good. She, she, don't, she don't look like that Tasha K surgery. <laughs> that bitch look good. <laughs> Nene look good as fuck. She does look good. Now the the Lanithia closed up, but she does look good. <laughs> well, we knew the Lanithia was gonna close anyway. Child, we sure did. Cause I'm not going nowhere to have no cocktail called the Lanithia. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It should be a yacht. She should look into making yacht. Girl, it needs to be a. Uh, uh, oh, that would be a. She, nice I really name. think that she should get that some facts. Nice. Maybe some real facts around her that could tell her, girl, you need to. The, you don't call a building a Lanithia. You call oh, a, a yacht. Li a Correct. Yacht. Not so, no bar and grill. She should go. <laughs> 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 Not no bar and grill. <laughs> girl, where you gonna get where you get those wings from the Lanethia? Girl, no. No, what are you going what are you chartering out to go see your in the, the Lanethia? The Lanethia. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. You need a couple fags. That's Lanethia. right. A boat, a name of a boat. You need a couple new yeah. fags. You need a new set she needs of fags. Some new fags. Cause she got some fags around today. But th those girls should have told you, honey, that instead of naming a building Lanethia, the Lanethia girl. You should have went out there, honey, and got you a motherfucking got invested in you some yacht, some nautical shit. That's right, especially with her with that new tone. Tuesday, Tuesday, girl, sound like you out on the Riviera. On Craig Tuesday. was losing it. <laughs> yeah, I, Craig was losing. I looked it at that was... time. And I said, "We not about to sit here and listen to seven and a half minutes of this." <laughs> yeah, Craig said, "Cut it, please." Craig said, "Nene, you Nene, you way too long. You need to." Cut it. Please. <laughs> so here's my thing. I uh, here's the thing. I personally think that mm -hmm. uh, again that this was a whole thing of phoniness. Mm -hmm. Portia, you're phony. I don't give a fuck how pretty you are. You're phony. You've been phony when you was in there with that motherfucking uh with that with that when you walked in that woman's house and left with that woman's husband. <laughs> and, you, and you see how karma and we all you see, see how, how karma quickened. We all see how that worked out. You walked in that woman's house and you left with that woman's husband. That was an act of phoniness. I don't give a fuck if she was your friend or not. You walked in that woman's house. Yeah, that's messed up. You left with that woman's husband. Now listen, not to say that he doesn't have anything to do with it because that's his dick that followed her right behind the door. True. So they're both at fault. But you, ma'am, walked in that woman's house and left with that woman's husband. That's phony. That don't mean you're disliked over here at the motherfucker. Because, I, I, bitch, I think that you are gorgeous. I think that Portia is a gorgeous bitch. And that bitch, ha! Yes, indeed. That bitch, ha, be snatched. <laughs> Way to be, girl. That bitch, ha, be snatched. <laughs> yes, indeed. I want to tell you, there ain't many motherfucking people that I, who I give uh, up about that hair, but that Portia, that Portia, whatever her new last name and old right. last name is, <laughs> that bitch hair be snatched. Let me tell you, every time she show up on that camera, she look like she bitch got candy's that money. Hair be, that is what she look is. like she got candy's money. Now, candy's the richest bitch over there. And, and you know it. But she looks like she got candy's money. That bitch hair be gathered up and snatched. No, you always say Portia always be looking good. You she Portia do. Good. Portia you looks you amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, those stretch pieces she be but wearing. But that does not negate the <laughs> fact that she is phony <laughs> amongst women. It's funny that we're talking about this. I love the Upshaws on, on Netflix. Me too. I actually enjoy I, it. I love that show. I it's actually hilarious. Really enjoy it. yeah. I just ran into Mike Epps on my way here. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. It is hilarious that we, I didn't even know we were talking about this. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he fist bumped when he saw me. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He likes your outfit. Such a nice guy. <laughs> he 
Yes. Are we done with him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, where are we going next? Well, no, we're not done with Nene. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go oh ahead. We're not finished with Nene. Oh, okay. Because you didn't let us get to the end. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Well, Here's the thing. The Nene, you got to understand this, right? Mm. Portia got her job back over there at Bravo. You don't. No shade. Portia got her job back over there at Bravo. You don't. Yes, y'all was out in the Hamptons, which which y'all should have chartered, which you, you should have had a yacht named Lilanethia so that y'all could have chartered y'all your yacht out there in the Hamptons. Yes, y'all was in Africa together. All of the things that happened. But, bitch, when it comes down, y'all are really not friends. None of you housewife girls are friends with each other. None of you. We, we know this. But when it boils down to it... <laughs> Mama's got to get her check back. That That's man, fine. that African man is gone. He <laughs> he got his new boo somewhere. That African man is gone. So she got to get back and get the gathering where the gathering was getting. And at. Portia is just giving her what Nene gave her when she came to the housewives. Oh, oh. You see how that feels? See, see one thing about them tables, they gonna turn. Mm -hmm. They always turn. And so it's like she treated everybody like, oh, I'm the head bitch over here at the housewives. And she was. Past tense. But here's the thing. If she makes a grand return, bitch, those ratings will skyrocket. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. Well, they will just maybe for the two, two episodes. Yeah, right. Because they want to see how she's going to get back into the swing of things. But then after that, it's going to get back the way that it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, like a cameo? <laughs> Something like well, I would listen. There's no way that I would come to it, come over there as a friend of the show. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know if, she, if her ego will oh, allow okay. her to do that. Oh, okay. But I'm shocked that they gave Portia that much pull over there at the Upshaws to be like, oh, well, I don't want to. Well, Nene still did the show, though. Yeah, That's what you Portia, did. Portia, Portia, Portia did, did you did, the See, show. you, you should have watched the full seven minutes. Nene was talking too long. She should have <laughs> cut to the chase. I didn't need all of that. Just to, I didn't need all of that. <laughs> you didn't need it all? Right. <laughs> Not all of that. I didn't need all of that. <laughs> what you didn't? Didn't need all of that. And what was she doing earlier? Bl Too much. Bloviating. Bloviating. Okay. B-L-O-V-I-A-T-I-N-G. I don't want to hear from you. I need to hear from okay, her. Okay. Ask Alexa. <laughs> hey, Alexa. What is bloviating? Abdominal bloating is a short-term disease that affects the gastrointestinal tract. Alexa needs a miracle ear. That bitch can't hear. She said bloated. <laughs> Say it, Craig. Maybe I'm not saying it correctly. Alexa, what is bloviating? Girl, she's over here on yellow. Girl, now she's on the smoke She's break. still over here spinning around trying to figure out her thoughts, girl. Alexa, what is bloviating? Bloviating is the act of speaking in a pompous and grand manner. It is often used to describe someone who is blowing their own horn or talking about themselves in an exaggerated way. Well, she really wasn't bloviating. Well, she was. Because she was just talking about her experience. You just It was her tone and her saying Tuesday that, that made you feel that she and was that's what, and, Right, and that's, that was the first part of the definition. <laughs> Talk, <laughs> talking in a very uppity kind of way. It was her saying Tuesday. Uh-huh. Uh, and get that girl, no, she from Augusta. <laughs> no shade Augusta, but girl. It ain't giving all of that at Augusta. All she had, all poor, but all Portia had to say was, "Nene, listen, I fucked with you the long way, but bitch, I'm back on Bravo because Simon, I got him a new bitch. We divorcing, mm -hmm. girl, and not only is we divorcing, girl, honey, I need to really get back in the swing, into the thick of it, uh, into the thick of it, because all of those wise girls know, because mm -hmm. Candy on a hiatus, but she will be back. I feel she it. Will. I, feel I, it I think heart. she will. I feel it in my heart that Candy will be back. Oh, so she's not on the news. No, season. she's not. Oh, but okay. I feel it in my heart that Candy will return because we all know that a, that a steady check. Anime, tomorrow you start working because we all got jobs around here. And I ain't been raising no musician. Day. A nurse. That's right. <laughs> you bring a steady check in here. You bring a steady check in this house. We all got jobs. Tomorrow you start looking. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, you start looking. That girl is going to be a nurse and bring, mm -hmm. a, and bring a steady paycheck in. That's right. Car. Who's this out here in this red convertible? Red convertible? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Make me over. Ah. Make me nice. Mm -hmm. And when I'm done, all I want to be right. Ooh. Well, why you not hearing that all this Ooh. yelling? <laughs> all this just got her singing Ooh. like a man. I want to be made over. You want to drink? Yeah, I want to drink. I want to be made over. I want to be made over. 
I want to be made over. Oh, oh Lord. Make me over. <laughs> Make me nice. Okay. <laughs> and yes, when indeed. I'm done, oh, I want to be right. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that movie. Speaking of, of that woman in that movie, I don't think that she's on, on the thing over here. She's not. Mo didn't move quick enough. You know, Jennifer just, Lewis. Jennifer Lewis. We love. Listen, let me tell you something. I love that woman. Y'all have to understand that I love. Jennifer Lewis with every inch and every being an essence inside of me because I remember I did an interview somewhere and it was when my TV show came out, the T.S. Madison experience. Um, and when it, when, it, when it came out, now am I bloviating? No, 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 go ahead. Okay. The T.S. Madison experience when it came out in March of 2021, I, I did an interview and they asked me, well, man, so if you get your own television show, who is going to be, who will be your first, oh, your own talk show? Who would be your first guest that you'd like to have on the show? And I said, I'd like Jennifer Lewis. I remember that. I, I, I like Jennifer Lewis. What y'all don't know is that after all of that stuff aired, I got a phone call from Jennifer Lewis. Mm -hmm. She said, <laughs> yeah. That's her. <laughs> now, I don't know. Where well, I seen you talking about me yet, but I seen you talking about me. And I heard you say that when you get your own television, your own talk show, that you want me to be have your first guest, and I'm gonna grant you that. And I was like, girl, I love you. Something I was just scared of talking to or whatever. And she said, Now listen, I'm getting ready to get out here and do the tour for my book. Mm -hmm. Have you got your copy of my book? I said, girl, send it to me. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <clears throat> of my book and we talked on the phone and we laughed and we keyed or whatever about it whatever and then I and my last words to her was I'm still huge in Kinlaw okay and she says and I am because <laughs> she's from Kinlaw yeah Kinlaw Missouri Kinlaw Missouri <clears throat> so anyway we went on life went on or whatever and um I got the turn that with T.S. Madison show and all that type of stuff but 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 our schedules didn't align however I was in LA one one time mm -hmm. and she uh there was she was getting her walk her star on the uh walk of fame, walk of fame. and then when she uh I I Shangela called me and she says Maddie I know how much you love motherfucking Jennifer Lewis girl we having a, a star a walk a walk on the a walk on the star fame whatever and we and she and she wants you to come over. I was like, girl, bitch, I had hurried up and threw on me a piece, honey, or old, old nasty red, yellow, and blue, honey, re representing the fags, girl. <laughs> honey got me got in me a car and came over to Miss Jennifer Lewis. It's it, it, illustrious home. Mm -hmm. It was very illustrious. Mm -hmm. Came over to her illustrious home, honey, and she came in. And she's like, Yes, yes. You know, she is very grandiose. Oh, yes, she is. Yes, yes. She was a fag on a former life. But she was definitely a hood bitch, though. Oh, yes. Bitch, they got we got in there. We started eating chicken, girl, honey. I was drinking some infused Kool-Aid, honey. It was infused with marijuana. <laughs> bitch, it was so good, bitch. I was over there. I was so, I had got it. I said, I could, what is in this? <laughs> this is amazing. It has such a different flavor. Yeah. <laughs> what is, what's in this? <laughs> yes. Mm. Honey. By the time that 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 uh, lemonade had got all got, got all up and through me, honey, and it was all up and through her, <laughs> bitch, we started keying and cackling, honey. She says, "You know what I want you to do, T.S. I want you to talk to me as if you were going to talk to me as if you were going to interview me on your show." I said, "Okay." So she sat down and she crossed her leg. You know, she's all mm -hmm. that. Yeah, those are things she gets. She is, and she started telling me stories and started telling me a lot of things or whatever. We started talking. We and girl, that Aretha story. She told me about how Aretha had her plate fixed. Girl, <laughs> what was the story? Girl, her plate was. To the... uh, uh, she said Aretha plate was sitting that high. And she <laughs> said. Uh, she said Whitney Houston told her. She said. She said Jennifer. She said Whitney Houston said because she was going around and see. She said now Jennifer, when you go around and she said Aretha takes that queen shit serious. <laughs> she said Aretha takes that queen <laughs> shit serious. Right, right. <laughs> and said so they was throwing some kind of festival or some kind of thing in there for, for Aretha or whatever, or some kind of honor or something, honey, and nobody would eat. And when Aretha arrived, honey, it was like a buffet, bitch. And said Aretha <laughs> walked around there on that had that motherfucking tray. Bitch, and Lord, she said that plate was piled high. And she and Jennifer said, she said, Yes, Queen E. And she said, Aretha said, You see it. <laughs> 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 
think I had fell on the floor because I could just imagine Aretha carrying on like that. <laughs> you see it. You see it. <laughs> and My girl, God. she say Aretha had devoured that plate like no other. I'm sure. Girl, we talked about her and Jennifer Holiday. Motion detected at side garage. We talked about her and Jennifer. I said, girl, did you ever have beef with Jennifer Holiday? Because I watched you and Jackie's back. Mm -hmm. And you did that. Ah, ah, ah. Mm -hmm. and, and she said, girl. Uh, we had a little a little run in. It was over some fried chicken. <laughs> Girl, when I tell you, I have to explain to y'all that bitch. That was. There are so many days that 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 I hold near and dear to my heart. I've hold. I've I, all the private times that I share with RuPaul. I hold them near. No, let me see. So who is that? Look, uh, you want me to go check? Yeah. All right. You the only man in this house. Wait a minute. Where's the... <laughs> <laughs> you and I are here. <laughs> <laughs> but the illusion <laughs> is that of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But the illusion... I know that. <laughs> what is it, girl? <laughs> but Craig, the illusion... <laughs> is what? Is that of a woman. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you were right. We're both male. But the illusion is what? Instead of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Let us be perfectly clear. Oh, God. <laughs> you and I both are male. But the illusion <laughs> is that of a woman. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that's right. I want you to be, we need to be very clear. Quite clear. In our conversation. <laughs> we are both male. But the illusion. Is that a uh, oh my god. Oh my god, my stomach is killing me. <laughs> and don't you leave this house thinking anything else? That's right. You and I both were born male, but the illusion. Is that of a woman? <laughs> oh my god, you're so crazy. And there we have it. But were you gonna tell them that Jennifer fell? Were you gonna tell that is that what you were about to tell them? About the interview that she did with Robin Roberts? It's security. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. Salutations. Salutations and greetings to you too. How are you? Let us pivot back to something and then we're going to get into Jennifer Lewis. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to do this and I'd like to do this very, it's very important that I do this. Let me, let me explain. Mo, can you come here for a second? Come, come here. Come here for a second. Can I feel she's about to be messy. I am. I'm not. I'm about to, I'm about to show her. Oh. I'm about to come here for a second. Can you can you bring, bring your darkness in here? You see this? Let, scoot over. This you and the microphone are blending, blending. Hold on, uh, blending. Scoot, come on, come here in the front. But bring your ass and come down now. <laughs> you see this? This is a man. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a man, but this is a man. Gee, this is the illusion of a woman. You smiling? But you laughing? This, but, <laughs> <laughs> you took that, Gee. You just got here. I know you security. Oh, okay. come on. Don't 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 move, don't don't break the move here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> This is a man, and this is a man that it is secure in him being a man. This is a heterosexual identified man. This is a man that is secure in him being a man. He comes to this basement every day, every other day. Even if he doesn't make a check, he will be here. But he makes a check. <laughs> so that's an incentive. It is an incentive. <laughs> of course. However, of if course. there was no check, he'd still be my friend. Of course, definitely. Right. And a lot of times, the children get out of control. What y'all don't be understand is Mo be really hot about that. Mo be over there ready to gun a bitch down. And I don't mean the way that some of you wanted to gun you down. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 babe. Mo not uncomfortable. He's very, he's shy. He's that type of Libra. He don't have, he's not, he's an October Libra, but he's not the October Libra like me. You a Libra? Yeah. I didn't know you were a Libra. Yeah. Sixteen. He's a sixteen. He's not the October Libra. You don't act like the Libra that. that oh, you this know. one? You were talking about this a Libra? <laughs> it's because I'm a almost a Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, come here really quick. We have to do this because we're, we're both of us are fags, uh -huh. and we are also surrounded by heterosexual uh -huh. men that are definitely so comfortable in their skin. Co and right. She, she come here, come here. <laughs> See. <laughs> Also, is a man. You see this right here? Man, this, man. This is a man, man. Hold man, on. man, man, man. This is a man. Man, man. Okay. M a n e n e. This we're questioning, but this. <laughs> is a man. Oh. This. 
he is a man. <laughs> this man is also comfortable in his skin, comfortable in his manhood, comfortable in his. Man. I'm just. We, we, you gotta watch this. You gotta watch the playback. This is a man. Great, what I have no, you watch it back. You'll see it. But this yeah. right here is a man. A lot. A, a lot. man. HR problem. This is a no. <laughs> no. But this man right here, y'all, is gonna be, and that man. It's going to be seen with me, I with me, in the place with me, and all this stuff. With a check, yes. And without. <laughs> because those are my friends. So my thing is, when you see men like that, don't question men like that. When you see men like them other niggas earlier, put your question marker. Have your, have your paper out like this. Explain. <laughs> Explain why are you acting like that. Explain why you're acting like that. Now let us finish. Sorry, G, you interrupted us all the way around. But we, just... <laughs> now, what we, we were talking about Jennifer Lewis. Now, Jennifer Lewis said, <laughs> when she went on uh, uh, with Robin Robbins, right? Mm -hmm. Honey, she done went out there in the Serengeti. Mm -hmm. She was out in the Serengeti. Mm -hmm. And she was walking in the darkness. And she took three steps and she fell. <laughs> Bitch, when I tell you, I was so engaged. I was too. Into that story about her walking off the Serengeti. And uh, we need to take this Quincy Hall, Quincy Hall person out of there. Who, let me see. Hold on. I got it, baby. Oh, okay. Just sit still. Let me oh, I got it. I see it. I see it. So we, when, we, uh, when we watched it, we were very much so like, golly. You know, like, this story was so full of. Theatrics. Theatrics. And drama. And drama and all that stuff. So is she the one that taught you how to do your storytelling? No, I, this is what I said. This is the first person, and pay attention very closely so that you never say that again. <laughs> <laughs> when I walked in Jennifer Lewis's house the very first time, uh -huh. that is the first time that I walked in the house mm. and I saw myself. Mm. Uh. I've met lots and lots and lots and lots of people. Lots of people, Mom. I mean, Craig, in my mm -hmm. life. I've met lots of people in my motherfucking life. But you never meet yourself. Uh, okay. When I walked in and it was and it was and she gave and it was all of that and like, you know, and she's you know, and she spoke about this publicly. Jennifer Lewis is bipolar. Yeah. So I was like, well, wait a minute. Do we share the same spirit? I remember watching her on interviews and she was over there talking about, um, she was just talking. She's like, yes, yeah, she's like, baby, bring me back to where I was. And I noticed that. <laughs> bring me back to where I was there. Tell me what right. I was saying. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I love her. I do with all of it in me. And so. But if you get a chance to look at that interview, it's on Hulu. It's, it's with Jennifer Lewis and Robin Roberts. And she talks about her trip to the Serengeti and how she fell. But what was so impactful about the story was how she said she fell 10 feet, she said, but she wants to tell people that not only can you get up from a physical fall, you can get up from any type of fall, whether it's a heartbreak, a divorce, whatever, you can always get up. And so it was, it was a great story. It really, really was. Okay. All right, we, we, we're kind of pressed for time, but we're moving. Let's move through these things in the next. Yes, please. We have okay. 20 minutes, so let's move into the next 20 minutes. So, y'all, because we got to be out of here at uh, 4.15, 4.20. Um, and well, I just got to slide a dress up. Okay, well, I know you wanted to talk about uh, somebody that in the news. Who was it? Well, she she played the news people for a fool. Let's put it like that. We'll see what's going on here. Okay, here we go. Story created a national firestorm. Desiree Jennings is the pretty ambassador for the Washington Redskins cheerleading squad who claims she developed a rare neurological disorder called dystonia after receiving a seasonal flu shot, causing dramatic spasms and slurred speech. I just feel sideways a lot goes now too. So you used to be able to go sideways? Yeah. Over, Desiree and her husband told me they worried they'd never find a cure. But look at Desiree now. We found her walking normally, playing with her dogs, going shopping, even getting behind the wheel of a car and driving. Hard to believe the woman we've been discreetly observing over the last few weeks is the same woman we met during the height of the flu shot scare. So we wanted to ask her about her remarkable improvement. We've been trying to reach you and you have not been returning our phone calls. Oh, I'm sorry. What's going on? It looks like you've made a complete recovery. Uh, well, I don't want to say complete recovery. I still have a lot of cognitive. Cognitive. 
First of all, when I seen that bitch walking back, was I did I say she either had them been hit by hit by some by another <laughs> dick. <laughs> She had to been hit by some black dick and they got her ass spinning around in a circle like that. Because this got to be a lie. It got to be a lie. <laughs> it got to be a lie. Uh, let's move past her. We got to get to the stuff that we said we were going to talk about now. Craig, you don't want to talk about white people. I don't want to talk about her. That's white people. Mm-mm. Chilling a lie. Mm-mm. <laughs> they do that all day long. Okay, well, come on. Oh, that looks nice. You like it? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Then, Craig, which one did you want to talk about? Let's get to Billy Porter. All right. Oh, well, that's who you want to talk about. Yes, oh, okay. let's get to that. Here we, Here go. we go. Come on, let's Billy go. Porter. Oh, shit. Craig, wait a minute. Craig, wait. Go back to that. Go back to Craig, that first wait. One. Craig, wait a minute. I want y'all to look at that Craig, bottom row of tea. I need you to wait a minute. Hold on. That bottom what row of tea. Me? Craig, wait. That bottom row of tea. Craig, wait. Now, how are you going to fix the top row? Craig, we, I, no, Craig, wait. Now, how are you going to fix the top Craig, row? Craig, you have to wait. Where did you get those pictures? <laughs> and completely <laughs> ignore the bottom row. Craig, where did you get those pictures? Girl, that bottom row is looking like George Washington. But Craig, Remember how George Washington had those wooden teeth? Craig, wait. Please. <laughs> George, George Washington had them wooden teeth. Craig, wait. Girl, like. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, wait. <laughs> Maybe he ran out of money before he got to that bottom row. Is that what he was getting? We, listen, is that what he was getting? Those six cent oh checks. My God. Craig, are we reading? Are, are you reading Billy based off of, of her looks or what she was in the news for? Okay, well thing? let's get to what she was in the news for. But so I that's not even that. what he was in the news. That ain't even what he was in the news for. <laughs> but I mean, how you how you wear all those beautiful gowns at those red carpet events and you don't get to that bottom row of teeth? Oh. Dear Lord. But anyway, Billy Porter is uh, portraying the late, great James Baldwin. Yes. In a biopic. And he's uh, co-writing it and he's starring in it. And he has no clue what Billy Porter, I mean, uh, what James Baldwin stood for. Now, for those of you who may not know, James Baldwin was a homosexual. And he used his literature. And as I said to you many weeks ago, that the queer, the black queer community really contributed a lot to black culture. Zora Neale Hurston, Alice Walker, Langston Hughes, James Baldwin, these all were queer people. Well, Billy Porter said he don't even know what, uh, <laughs> what James Baldwin, uh, his stance was in the 40s, 50s, and 60s on different issues. First of all, James Baldwin wrote openly about being a fag, an F-A-G. He also used his writing to talk about political things, things going on in the world. He talked about white folks the way I do. He said there was no place for the Negro in this country. That's what James Baldwin did. You know, he's, he lived in Paris for a little bit too, like I did. So basically what you're saying that you could have taken on the role of playing James Baldwin <laughs> and not really for him. I mean, at least they could have called me for some consultation. I mean, they could have sent me a little check. Greg put his bid in. But how did Billy, <laughs> po- how you how you doing a biopic and you don't know what this man stood for? How you doing a biopic and you're going to say you don't know what's going on over in Palestine? It's one thing to not know what's going on in Palestine, but when you take on a project, isn't, isn't that part of research? I mean, shouldn't he? Yes. Shouldn't he be re- when I mean, you're doing a biopic? But see, this is what happens when you ain't got no black friends. I mean, Oof. Craig, don't do that. There he people do in the chat black, agree with he Craig. He does right? have black friends, Craig. He, he must not have the ones that know about James Baldwin. He friends with Tadri. Who? He friends with Tadri Hall. The one that got all of them white friends too. The one that only hires and casts white people in his videos and stuff. That's the one, the one that only has white girlfriends or boyfriends. The one who got drugged through social media a couple years ago because he put all of the dark skinned people in the back or not in the video at all. That Todrick? That's not true. Oh. Well, Is it? Edu- educate me. Is it? Educate me. That's, that's not true. E- educate me. I'm hoping that that's not true. Educate me. Why were the black queers dragging Todrick before the pandemic? Hello? Is this thing working? Can y'all, um, can we get some everything cr- promotion, please? <laughs> <laughs> the tickets are fag, fag talk at the Atlanta City, City Winery are on sale now. Yes, because you put that up to it for us. Yes, oh, I got you. Here we go. Fag talk promotion right here. This is, listen, if you want to smell like everything, please, girl. <laughs> <laughs> What do 
Sister Yolanda Adams say truth is the light. And use Maddie 20 <laughs> at checkout. That's M A D D I E 2 O, Maddie 20. You can't even do your promotion. Girl. <laughs> Maddie 20. Okay? Maddie 20. That's M A D D I E 20. Click scan, scan the QR code to get your everything perfume <laughs> and use Maddie 20. Also, I need for you to slide over there and make sure that if you want to come out to see us, see us live at the show oh. in City Winery, honey. We have a residency there. Come on out. Get your tickets, honey. Visit www.fagtalk.com or take your phone and scroll across the screen. Girl, and click the QR code. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, now back to Craig. But James Baldwin, listen. He was known for writing from a political space. That's what a lot of black <sighs> queer artists did. Even when you think about Jean-Michel Basquiat. Wait, that's French. Uh, absolutely. Jean-Michel Basquiat. Basquiat. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let's do it together. Jean-Michel Basquiat. Basquiat. Oh, that's B-A-S-Q-U-A-I-T. That's right. That's right. I'm not as dumb as you think, Craig. I, I never said <laughs> I thought you were dumb. I never said that. <laughs> you didn't have to say it. I never. I never. I never say said it. that. You come over here bloviating around me. All the time. <laughs> I, I, I never said that you I thought you were dumb. You come over here bloviating. Around me. I, I never said that I thought you were dumb. <laughs> but but Basquiat. So like, remember when Chrisette Michelle performed for Trump's inauguration? If you go back and look, that dress that she had on was a Basquiat piece. Uh -huh. Basquiat. And it was some of his. It was like a you know pattern of from a, from a painting he had done. Uh -huh. But the the reason that she thought that it was okay to perform at that inauguration was because she was trying to. She said she was trying to send a message through Basquiat's work because he spoke out about political stuff and da 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 through his art. Now that went over a lot of people's heads. Well, a lot of things, even a lot of things that we say go over a lot of people's heads. Correct. When we are when we're taking a stance, like because that pussy asshole earlier said that I, that I should stop being a think, uh, being a pillar for the community for clout. Mm. Every time I every time I'm windmilling about our community, I'm standing up against any any types of phobias against us as black people, us as trans people, and black women. Bitch, don't play with me. Play with your pussy. Right. You you feel me? And those be the main people that's telling you about standing in your advocacy that be somewhere tearing this very the very same people uh, the, who's trying to protect them down. Right. Well, um, somebody in the comments said, "Well, I'm sure Billy Porter was going to research." Can we pull up those tweets, please? Okay. Uh, that I sent because he said in an article that he didn't know this, he didn't know that, and he was just trying to use okay, what he you thought. Can't, you can't prepare for oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you, you can't prepare for that type of Oh, report. absolutely. He basically said in these articles. And that's a quote from him? Uh, yeah. Here, pull it up because I can't see that. Yeah. Quote. It, it was, it was, I'm, I'm was not quote, that young. Wait, I still, wait, I still have it in my phone. Okay, well, do it because I yeah, can't let see Let me, let me pull it up in, in, my, in my device. And Mo, don't even try, even with your glasses on. Don't do it. <laughs> do a lot of things, but don't do that. Don't, don't do, my, don't do my, my eyes like that. Don't do my eyes like that, Maddie. Yeah, he basically said he didn't know <laughs> no, this, he didn't know no, that, yeah. and he didn't know what was going on, and it's just like, well, well. What so they like said uh, this was in. Well, read, um, it, read it. <laughs> since, don't, since you said don't do your. Anime, no, I'm good. I'm good. Read I'm it. Good. No, I'm good. It's kind of small, so I don't even want to. I don't. Even, I don't want to butcher nothing. Okay, so you, so you were, you were going to take this uh, uh, this victim. But you don't have to let them know that. It's though. okay. That's, they that should, should because that, we, that needs to be no, in house. No, no, that needs to be it, it is in house. house. But I was depending on you to read the line. <laughs> I already came forward and said I can't see that far. <laughs> and you was like, I got it. And then I was like, Well, get it then. No, I meant I was going to put it on the screen. That's what I meant. It was there, but I needed it to be read. <laughs> can, can you read it, please? Yeah. So and uh, this is quoted from him saying this. Yeah, it was in it was in the magazine. It was in the uh, article. Well, you sent it over to Mo, so you should be able to look at what you sent him. I know, but I want to be able to see it. Yeah, I want to be able to see it up close. Okay. So it says in the article when I asked Porter how he plans to navigate Baldwin's relationship with the Palestinian rights movement in the script, given his own support of Israel, given his own support of Israel. <laughs> He quickly clarifies his position. First and foremost, I'm supportive of a two-state solution. The second thing is, this is not my hill. I am not going to die on it. It's not mine. I'm not D Jewish, nor am I Palestinian. What's going on over there is horrific. What's going, uh, 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 sorry, he said that, it's, it's horrific. Then he goes on to say, the choices that we in America have made are wrong. Please don't make me a poster child for that. So my thing is, if you're not really ready to get into a James Baldwin piece, 
knowing how he was so politically active, then maybe this isn't the role for you. Maybe you should just direct it but, but, or produce it. But maybe he was, he, he's, he's, he's encouraged because of those six cents checks. Maybe he's doing Can it for a check. Can we talk about that, Craig? I've yeah. always wanted to talk about that. Yeah. Because I don't get six cents six, six, six check. But I also don't have those big old jobs that they have. So I don't know that they have those big giant jobs. So maybe there's a difference in the contract. Maybe in their contract they get all the money up front first and then in the residual part. Well, he didn't save any of his. Girl, I still got some of that money from the T.S. Madison experience locked up somewhere. I do, too. <laughs> Look, I still got some of that change locked up. I do, too. <laughs> but. Girl, in fact, I still got some of that money from the Queen Supreme Court when we toured. I definitely do, too. Locked up somewhere. But we didn't make no money, Craig. You know, the people say we didn't do that. We lied. We did all that stuff. Cause somebody from the inside went out there and told them things because, uh, cause they were peeling off stuff at the door. But that's another story. <laughs> uh, 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 what happened? All right. <laughs> but they were the first to run over there <laughs> to Kenneth K. They try to tell a story. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Father. All right, let's keep, let's keep moving. Yeah, let's go. All right, so look, <laughs> I pulled this other story. Now, we might have to come back to this, but I pulled this other story. It was a trans story. Yeah. I... Uh, Mo, they asked me, do I read Super Chats? Are, is Super Chats in the back? Better? Yes, I do read yeah, the Super do Chats. Read look, Mo is over there handling the things over here. What are they saying in the Super Chats? Come on. Okay, you want me to start from the yeah, beginning? Yeah, come on, let's All see, because right. I don't want to get, I don't, mm -mm, I don't want to think, you know, yes, here we go, let's go. It says, I love you, T.S., you don't offend me, it is what it is. That's right, thank you, thank you, damn okay. Damn. Uh, unprovoked men will literally taunt, beat, and kill their own fantasy to save face and reinforce manhood that was never questioned. Right? Come on. Um... Uh, Oh, so she did. So she had to go to Columbia to have those teeth shaved down. Cool. Oh, her, Kenneth, Kenneth K. Mm. Child, Fivel. Well, come on. <laughs> uh, why does she keep coming from Maddie when nobody sent for her? Right, Liv. Right. Uh, right. I never said that bitch was, was for, for fucking trans. So I never said that. Uh, they said, that, and that it is. We are in a million dollar basement. Multiple. Uh. They said, oh, my God, thank you, Leslie Lester. Just because I love you. Just because. Just, just because, because I do. Because I love you. I said I need a baker. I love to say I love you. And, and I, I love, love you. And, and I, I love, love you. And I love you. Baby, she been going out bad, but that's another topic. She sure is. <laughs> that's Detroit, though. <laughs> That's how those Detroit girls Detroit get down. All day. Huh, Aretha? <laughs> okay, come on. So it just said the super sticker. Thank you, Lynn Ferguson. Thank you. Then Dominic Lee. Uh, Mike is don't like the gays. We don't support him. I didn't say I support him. I just said he spoke to me when I went into the store. Maybe he couldn't clock you. Let's go. I don't be getting clocked a lot. So I can tell him. Listen, you, this is great. You're so smooth operator. Hey. He's a smooth operator, smooth operator, smooth operator. Coast to coast yes, indeed. Ain't to Chicago. Listen, just because you like Sade, <laughs> you can't have her. Uh, John Long said, I think, see, here's, uh, listen, I'm not, can you read that? I'm not going to do it. John says, I think cis women are jealous of trans women. Some, some. Jealous of trans women because the vast majority of cis women can't take it up the butt. Oh. And men more and more are enjoying anal. I didn't say that. Now, that's not how you spell anal, but it yeah. It's okay, but I just don't, I didn't say that, so don't take this and be like, because I don't need this being in there like, TSA. Right, right. These are John Long's opinions. Thank you, John Long. Come on. Let me get out of that mode for they okay. have me in there. Right. Um, I am a Taurus. Oh. 
<laughs> and no I fun. am, and I am a October Libra. <laughs> okay. Then a super, another super sticker was. Thank you, Jay Bellini. Then Nikita. Nikita, you said I'm a Libra, October first. That's why I understand. I vibe and receive all content. Cause who wrong? Right. Okay. Then we have. Oh, yeah. they say Siri play Nuck if you bug. Well, <laughs> uh, uh hold on, cause she may stop playing. She's gonna Nuck start playing that. Okay. Then we got. <laughs> Craig, are you gonna read that? <laughs> Billy Porter should not have the teeth of a sixty-year-old white man, white British man, being that rich. Well, he ain't rich. Yes, he is. Craig. Billy Porter. Not if he had to move out of his house and he was having. Listen. All right. Are there any more super chats? Yeah, there, there are two more. See, you see how I'm trying to stay out of the way. I, I see. I see. You don't need you don't need the fiery rage at you. Remember the views and it, 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 what did you say at the beginning? Hold on, wait, go to, go more. We, we need oh, to do, this one. Yeah, yeah. Go, said the super chat. Do I read the super chat? Yeah. Yes, and then this one. And then they said, oh, th th I think they just sent it again. What? They sent the same like it's similar to what? No. Yeah, I that's the same person. That's yeah, the same John person. Long, I don't. I don't think that. I don't personally think that. No. Yeah. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. I think we periodically have to run that run through. That. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Thank then, you, Nini. And then Nini, she just said, Thank you, you, my baby. Craig. Thank you. Okay, we get we we did the super chat. That's it. All right. Now, Craig, you were stating, before we get ready to go, there was a situation that happened where a trans woman was in the bathroom. At a Planet Fitness. Wait a minute. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Okay. I do have... Do you want me to... There are two different situations. Okay. I, li I like to... Okay. Let's put the pictures up. Okay. And we could talk, because it's pictures, right? Well, yeah, yeah. It's two different ones, though. So, there were... the person, Two different stories. Yes. So, the person that they are talking about is this person that was in the, um, the Planet Fitness. The Planet Fitness... It was this person, her. And well, the story is. Go ahead and put the other one of that same person. Okay, and then there is what is, yeah. And so this is this is the story. They they blurred out their face, but he, so that's a different person. No, no, it's the same person. Right. No, no, no. There's a different story. That's oh, a, that's the, oh, you story. want me to show the other person? Right. Oh, so this lady right here yeah. saw another trans person. That's the, the the person that the person the trans person that we just saw is the, who this lady saw first. Okay. Yes, and then there's another story where where's that little thirty second video of that lady talking about how she saw a man in the ladies' restroom and there was a child in there and he was undressed and his penis was exposed. Oh, I didn't get this. It. Was old. That was an old story. All right. So let's dissect this very, very quickly, and then we'll we'll pick up for this when we come back to Fact Talk. Probably are we are we available Monday? Monday? Yeah. yeah. Let's see, see how we got an ass move. Mm hmm Yeah, we need to get some. Yeah, that was a picture of a man, of, of an actual man, not 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 the trans person. Well, he does. Oh Jesus. This person identifies as trans. Sorry. See, this is why I don't get into all that. This is why you can say they. Because it's two genders going on here. Okay, because we're talking about a group. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so there's another picture. Mo, we're gonna I need. Say, we're gonna. We probably gonna need to come back to this because we need to be. We need to have all this. Yeah, I need to be able to get into this. To, just to be need to be lined up correctly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I need to really be able to get into this. I want to say this, Craig, because we're gonna we don't we definitely can't de delve into this. That's D E L V E E. Delve into this because we have somewhere to be Prior at five thirty. But I would like to say this: <coughs> there are views and opinions that I that I that Craig and I talked about over the weekend that we mm -hmm. expressed incessantly about how we feel about about trans and and the gay experience. And and I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave y'all with this. And y'all might windmill me in the ground if you like, but it's okay. I am not opposed to trans people having their own bathrooms. I'm not opposed to trans people having their own sport. I'm not opposed to trans people having their own. I'm not opposed to that at all. I don't mind blending, but I'm all right being, this is why I stand on me, and this is me, I, me, 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 I, 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 
I, individual, I, I, individual, I, 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 individual. So don't take, I said this 60 times, so don't take this out in the street and try to beat me down. Trans people, I don't mind. And this is for me. Okay? I don't mind having our own. I have no problem with that. Now y'all could talk, y'all could talk about that. How y'all want to in the comment section later on or later off. Y'all could talk about that. I don't, it's okay. I don't mind having our own bathroom, our own sports, our own channel, our own. I don't mind that. And I also don't mind us uh 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 being merged together it goes either way for me you feel me um quiet as it's kept 99.9 .9 percent of y'all who feel some type of way about the bathroom thing are sharing the bathroom at your job with a trans person right now you just don't know it everybody's not clocky or everybody's not the clockable place that uh, think the, that you think that they are Craig has been sitting next to me this long time, and Craig is a trans man. <laughs> Can you not see how gorgeous this woman transformed into a man? <laughs> I was wondering where you were going Can with I that. Use no, oh it doesn't work there. <laughs> We will not be able to use acquiesce. <laughs> oh my God. I'd like to uh, know, we will not be able to use acquiesce. <laughs> I've been dying to use the word acquiesce somewhere. We're going to work on it a little bit longer. <laughs> I think by next week you should be fine. Do you know where to put acquiesce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Okay. I just remember where to put diaspora. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, but no, we did have a long conversation yesterday about D train. Oh, that, that was Saturday. Yeah, it was. What is today? Shit, my Saturday. running together. That was yeah, Thursday. That was Thursday. Well, that was that yesterday. Was yeah, we talked. That was Thursday, I think we were talking. We talked yesterday, too, but I think we were talking about this Thursday, about yeah, detransitioning and when is it too early to transition and blah, blah, and how that's a case-by-case -case kind of thing. It's really not a one-size-fit-all kind of thing. Um, but in this particular situation, I... I'll show it to you another time, but I have Wait, a but picture. We, you have to make sure that we line this up so that Mo can have this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So the next time that we come forward, tell me some wait, is Trigger Crane's man? No, girl. See, this is the picture I had sent him. Yes. We, now this person was in because the bathroom. He was sent that picture too by Kayla. Kayla sent it to Mo too. I don't know. And he missed it because he was just loaded so much stuff. All the stuff that we've already talked about, delete yeah, all that shit. Delete. delete it so that we have room. So that you can add this. Can you send the photograph to him again so that we can have that already queued up for, mm -hmm. for the next time that we talk about it? Thank you. <laughs> but you already also know that I can't load every single thing into the system because the system only allows me to put so much in. But we have to widen it. Huh? We have to widen it. It has to get bigger. Uh, okay, we can see we, we can do that. We can see we can do that. Did you send it to him? I did. Okay. Did you get it, Mo? I got it. We can take all Santana stuff out of there. I've already taken it out. Can we add that? Oh, it's not a video, it's a picture. It's a picture, yeah. yeah. Okay. One second, guys. Yes, please. Oh, Go. I'm sorry, everybody. We don't want to say guys. <laughs> Them. Right. <laughs> All of you. Craig, don't do this. We just got past this. Right. That's why I said, everybody, one second. Do we have the Jeopardy music? We can think it in our head. Because <laughs> the, the staff, they're thinking it. Uh-uh, let's just have conversation <laughs> for a second. Well, I still have to convert it. It needs to be converted? Yes, okay, well, listen, we'll get, we'll get ready to oh, close. Oh, the picture? Yes. We'll get, we're going to get ready to close very shortly um, because we have to go. But again, I'd like to leave out with my own individual thought. And please stop taking everything that I find, that I talk about this individual to me. You know, like just like Craig out at me the other day because I've never really talked about the sports thing. And you out at me. No, I said, I don't know if you want to talk about it. You said, no, you go ahead and say it. I was letting you out me. 
I didn't. But I also wanted to talk about that TikTok ban too. It's not the day. Today's not the day. Girl, we spent too much time on that Tasha K. Oh, that was that's, that was my goal. <laughs> I need to get that whole little time. Girl, that TikTok ban is something else. Yeah. I need to get I need to give that whole little time. Yeah. And then I also had to point out the differences of what men are and what what men can be. And also I and had the to, Oprah almost fallen. Can we quickly do that? Yeah, we can quickly do that. You got that in MO? Well, yeah. let me see if it's in here while he's doing that. So Oprah spoke at the Glad Award and some of the gay Queer led, excuse me. Queer led. Let's talk about let's talk about cure. That's not that. That's no, not you that. never queer sent me a led. video of it. No, it's not a video, it's, it's pictures. It's just pictures, yeah, that's it. So uh, the queer run blogs did not post Oprah's speech, which was an amazing speech. It, it, it was amazing. They only posted that this is that person a drag queen? Yes, yeah, Chili Pepper. Chili Pepper um, almost fell when she was walking past Oprah. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to play, play her speeches because yeah, yeah, we can't play the speech. Yeah. But the speech was amazing, and you would think that the queer or the gay run or however you want to call them blogs would have posted her speech instead they showed that this this chili pepper person almost fell on the stage it's like what? i do think that we as this is why we have such open dialogue and even though we joke and we be we be slightly messy and stuff like that mm -hmm. we we try to make it balance it balance it yes i opened up and i was reading tasha k but i was i softly gathered her and i tore up billy billy porter's bottom row you heavily gathered him but you also pulled him in you didn't call him out you pulled him in and i did educate about basquiat and you yes know, you did james ball and i also when i was calling kaja k out i pulled her in to let her know that bitch, we see your insides are showing your insides are showing your jealousy for women and trans women your jealousy is showing because you've talked about these people incessantly and then you go out and you start to imitate them mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. Then and then we pulled her in, and we also pulled in the men to show that these are th in the in the situation with with uh, uh, Santana. Uh -huh. So I just feel like that the vlogs have a duty. They always they have forced social responsibility. Social responsibility. They have forced Krishan and Blueface down our throat for the past year and everything. They have for I mean they have like girl, I, I, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. Forces, this mm -hmm. Craig. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck? And the moment that they post me, they're never posting me about any accomplishment or anything. They're always posting there's something where there's an altercation, which they, which they all follow me. Mm -hmm. Thank God that I'm rooted in mainstream media, where I don't need or have the dependency on the blogs to further propel my career in any direction that it needs to go because that's not going to happen and as queer led things and, and queer led organizations you would think you would think that they would get in there and they would either delete those comments from those those homophobic transphobic people or they would challenge them but you got to remember too though that sometimes these gay bloggers are trying to have close proximity to straightness they want to be accepted. They want to be the source. They want to be the place that straight folks go to see. So they don't necessarily want to be slanted towards the queer community. They want to be, kind of be seen as, you know what I mean? So there you have it. Because, I mean, when that boy who uh, is over one of them blogs was out there uh, performing fellatio, if that was posted... Well, we didn't talk about that, Craig. We're not talking about it now. But I have other footage. You want to see? <laughs> sure, I'd love to. Well, I sent it to you in the car. Okay. You didn't see all of it. No, no, no. Girl, it was a lot. I was like, yikes. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Mama's gets in the paint. Right. <laughs> now, now. Uh, hmm. I mean, I couldn't. Uh, 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 wait a minute. I mean, you'd have got you a piece. I mean, oh, because Mama's eats. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we just feel as though that those blog people have a social duty, uh, especially holding public office. Mm hmm. 
to have a balance. We didn't say don't post a mess. Right. Offer we, some balance. Yes. Just like with Zeus. Like, they pay y'all to post all this shit. And then Nick Cannon got out there doing this shit. Oh, God. We, Nick Cannon did what? You don't see that show he got? With all that extra foolishness going on, I'm like Nick Cannon. If you're not motherfucking in your in your thirty, how old are you? Forty two, fifty three years of living, posting this. But if you're not talking about Mariah like this, I'm not interested in knowing it. it, it, it I need to know about this. How did you steal the voice? They can say anything they want to say. Try to tear me down. Oh. Was that part of the song? <laughs> That's all I heard. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That's all I heard. Anyway, y'all, we gonna mo? Are we gonna be, are we gonna be back Monday or Tuesday? What, Craig, what's your yeah, schedule? Y'all, let me know. Uh, let's do Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, because my rug came, so I can come too. I was going to be at my, my other rug came. All right, y'all. So we'll see y'all Tuesday. Y'all ponder over this. Have y'all conversations. Chop these clips up. Put them out. Definitely, I will be more by the time you get home. By the time I get where I'm going, I need that. I need that whole that, area that, chopped that up. Part, yeah. Correct, because they got their clips out about me. So let me put my clips out about them. Okay. You know, we're gonna do a dedicated, and I'm gonna run. I'm gonna stream that as a as a premiere. <laughs> the, the Bible says, "Do unto others as you have them do unto you." Unto you. And I'm doing that all season. <laughs> Anything else? Anything come for me, Craig? That is it. Get your tickets for City Winery. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we'll see y'all on Tuesday. Bye. Take us out, bitch. Feel. Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey. A broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Shh. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one on one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is, right there. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Hey. Can go out there and find it. The views and opinions expressed on this program is just that. Views and opinions. Don't take any of it serious. But I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some fact talk. <laughs> you met me as, as me. Yes. <laughs> yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. And so are you. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. Say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. T H A G. Popular, hot ass, gospel. Hey, that's right. I'm rich. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, hey. And that's yeah, yeah. Yes. Not the other one. But that counts. Hey, girl, what is this plum burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes! Thank you.
You met me as me, yes. Yeah. Bro, this hair looks delicious on you. Yes! Yeah. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Girl, what is this? Wild Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> Today.